Guys, welcome to another video. Today, we are fixing our vocabulary. Everything education. Tuition for maths, English and science. Should you ever require tuition, lessons, classes for English, maths or science, do head over to everythingeducation.co.uk. All of our English classes are taught by myself, Mr. Everything English, and our science and maths classes are taught by fully qualified teachers. Upon joining, you get access to our student portal. This is where you hand in your homework, receive your feedback, and you can chat to your teachers, including myself. So guys, should you require any support with your English, maths, or science for any exam board, do head over to everythingeducation.co.uk or click the link in the description. Now guys, if you look at the English language mark scheme for paper one and paper two, both question fives, language devices is mentioned once in the top band. Structural devices is mentioned once. Punctuation is mentioned once. But there's one criteria that is mentioned three times. Yep, three times. And that criteria in the top band is referred to as ambitious, vocab ambitious vocabulary. Now, ambitious vocabulary is a fancy way, is an ambitious way of saying that the exam board want you to use really, really, really big words in your exam. Now, sometimes this can be a bit awkward because I know guys, trust me, you've been there, I've been there. Sometimes you use a word, but the word just doesn't fit in your writing and it sticks out like a sore thumb. Then we have a problem of, so how can I learn words? How can I learn big words when I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about on the day? But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. The best way of learning vocabulary is taking basic adjectives and finding alternatives to these basic adjectives. So for example, guys, sad, happy, bad, angry, good. These are basic words. There should be nobody in year 11 who doesn't know how to use the word sad in a sentence or the word bad or the word angry in a sentence. Because these are everyday words that we use in speech, in writing, all of the time. So what we do is we look for words to replace these common words because all we do is when we get the urge, when we get the itch to use the word bad, we use the alternative. When we get the itch to use the word sad, the word happy, we use the alternative. That's it. By the end of this video, I'm going to give you the words that you should learn and use in your paper one question five and your paper two question five this year in your GCSE. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't learn a thousand words. Don't be learning words forever. Choose your set of words and then practice. Then use them in speeches, in letters, in articles and stories. Now, the first word that we're gonna get rid of is the word sad. The word sad is now banned. We cannot use this word. Not in year 11, not at GCSE, not if we want to get a mark for ambitious words. So every time you get the itch to use the word sad, every time you feel like writing S-A-D on the page, use one of these three alternatives. Number one, use the word morose. M-O-R-O-S-E. Number two, use the word somber, S-O-M-B-R-E. And number three, use the word melancholy, M-E-L-A-N-C-H-O-L-Y. Those three words, melancholy, somber, and morose, every time you get the itch to say, today I feel so sad, change it to, today I feel somber. Today, I feel morose. Today, I feel melancholy. Tick, get the mark and move on. Second word, guys, is we're going to replace the word happy because we hate the word happy. And instead of using the word happy, we're going to replace it with 
either the word euphoric e u p h o r i c euphoric or the word jubilant j u b i l a n t today i feel really really happy because mr everything english is teaching me today i feel euphoric today i feel jubilant and that's it use them in your exam number 3 guys that this word is a word that we learn in year 3 we're never going to use it in year 11 and that's the word bad if i see or hear anyone using the word bad in your exam i will find you and i will well i know i'm not going to do anything to you but yeah please don't use the word bad guys please don't use the word bad it's too basic get rid of it so every time you get the itch every time you get the urge to write bad on the page just picture me standing over you telling you stop so rather than using the word bad the first word that we're going to replace the word bad with is abhorrent a b h o r r e n t the word is abhorrent r r asalaka asalaka seal the second word that we're going to replace the word abhorrent with is the word abominable Now say it carefully because you might make it sound like something it isn't but the word is abominable a b o m i n a b l e abominable both of them mean bad then guys the next word that we're going to stop saying is i feel really really confused guys i feel really really confused rather than saying the word confused we're going to say the word befuddled b e f u d d l e d the next word guys that we're going to replace is the word strange he is looking at me in a very strange way rather than saying strange we're going to say the word paradoxical and this word is spelled p a r a d o x i c a l Now guys the next word that we're going to replace is the word big. Rather than saying big, which is far too basic for year 11, we're going to say the word colossal or gargantuan. C O L O S S A L for colossal. For gargantuan, G A R G A N T U A N. That those two words are going to be used to replace the word big the building was big the building was colossal i had never seen anything so amazing in my life the next word guys is evil the next word is evil there are so many evil teachers waiting for mr everything english to make a spelling mistake rather than saying evil we're going to use the word malevolent m a l e v o l e n t malevolent then guys the next word is we're going to replace the word tired but not tired as in i'm feeling sleepy but tired as in i'm fed up i've had enough and to replace the word fed up to replace the word tired we're going to use the word exasperated e x a s p e r a t e d the word is exasperated and finally we are going to stop saying the word calm and peaceful and we're going to replace this with the word serene s e r e n e and there you have it that's it that's it you're good use these words guys in your speech in your letter in your article in your essay in your story if you're doing five paragraphs use use two of them per paragraph and you will get the mark for ambitious vocabulary just get it out of the way make a list and go and learn these words if you want to add more go for it but don't go crazy you don't need that many words two per paragraph is more than enough Now guys I know now you feel euphoric after watching this amazing video 
But please do learn these words. Please do use these words. And please do thank me when you get your grade nines later in the year. All right, guys, it's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.